We have long thought Enceladus was one of the best places to find life in our solar system. Enceladus is one of Saturn's moons, which has a warm salty ocean under a crust of ice and huge plumes of water gushing out. There's actually over 100 geysers on the surface of Enceladus, most vent materials into Saturn's E-ring. Cassini has flown over these plumes, so we know the composition of them and thus of the subsurface ocean as well. A while ago, Cassini actually found a silica particle, which pretty much said this ocean is warm and salty. And with this knowledge of the particle, we assume there had to be hydrothermal vents on the seafloor of Enceladus because it's one of the only places the specific type of particle can form on Earth. NASA came out with an announcement today, which is really important and really awesome because Cassini flew through these plumes and discovered molecular hydrogen, which is very strong evidence for hydrothermal vents on Enceladus's ocean floor. These vents provide chemical energy that life can feed on and might actually be where life originated on our planet. On Earth, hydrothermal vents are teeming with life, such as tube worms. So on Enceladus, life could be like them or other single-celled extremophiles we have in our own oceans. It's hard to imagine the warm ocean on en Enceladus not teeming with some weird life forms of sorts. Hydrogen gas pours out from the hydrothermal activity into the ocean, which microbes could combine with carbon dioxide to produce methane. So pretty much this new research shows that Enceladus has a chemical energy source capable of supporting life. Since life as we know it needs liquid water, the right chemical ingredients, and a source of energy, this discovery was like the last puzzle piece in debating if life could exist on Enceladus. However, this discovery does not directly prove that life exists on Enceladus, but it's a really great leap in the right direction to find out. If this is a topic that really interests you, stay tuned for NASA's Europa Clipper mission and ESA's JUICE mission, which are planned to launch in the 2020s. Also, please hit that sub button if you want to learn more because I'll have a lot more in-depth videos about the Europa Clipper mission, watery moons in our solar system, and a ton of other cool space and science things. Um, if you like the video, please do consider sharing it so more people can learn about this awesome discovery and one of our coolest moons, Enceladus. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.